because I, I want you to listen to you, and I want our viewers to as well, just 10 days ago, September 22nd, listen. You know, our conviction at this level is as high as it was when we were a thousand points uh, higher when we were bearish at the beginning of the year, uh, bearish at 4,300 and now at 3,780. If you ask me, based on this current information, where the S&P would be, I would, I would tell you that we should be much lower. I'm very surprised that we have not sold off as yet, but I think it's coming. If you wait six months, I don't think you're going to be in your best case scenario. I think you're going to be where we are right now. And in you know what I think is the base case scenario is that we're, we're much lower. The higher the market goes, the more aggressive the Fed is going to be. And the same token, the lower the market goes, the less aggressive they're going to be. But the bottom line is, is that it's a lose-lose situation. If we go higher, the Fed gets more aggressive. If we go lower, then obviously we're going lower and, and um, you know, it's not going to be profitable to own stocks. All right. I feel like I should ask for your ID. I mean, are you the same guy? How does that guy who said all of that now say that you have turned tactically bullish for a three-month trade? So we're, we're very bullish and our, and our conviction is very high. And so what, what has changed? So, you know, we look at the market very unemotionally and we check our views every single day based on the information that's out there. And what we're seeing right now is the following. Inflation real time is falling sharply. And I can run through all the different aspects of inflation, but every single data point in inflation is falling month over month. Which it has we, been. Yes. Now it's continued with rents and with uh, now homes are finally, uh, home prices are finally, you know, running over, turning over. Um, we think the Fed's last hike is going to be December 14th. And the reason why is part of the contagion that we've seen in the last week since I came on last time, I think is one of the three components that's going to lead to the Fed uh, having their last hike beyond December 14th. So we're a mere two months away from this Fed hike cycle being over. And then the capitulation indicators have all shown up in the last 10 days where you had the VIX hit 34. Um, you've had the VIX curve invert. You've had the RSI go well below 30 and a number of others that all uh, suggest that we are going to have a sharp uh, a sharp okay, let, let me let me take those one by one, sure. if, if I may. Sure. Um, last time you were on, you said, and I quote, the Fed stopping is not a reason to buy equities. Now part, part of your bullish thesis is on the Fed stopping. S square those two points. Sure. So the market, there, there's sort of the medium term and there's the short term. When this market gets a whiff that the Fed is almost done, the first reaction is that we are going to have a sharp rally. Even though in the long term, we're going to have to live with four and a half percent Fed funds rate or four and a quarter percent uh, Fed funds rate for a amount of time that overall is going to put a damper on the economy. But the first thing that the market's going to do is, is it's going to rally on that. And one of the things that I look back on is there's been four times when the CPI has gone above six percent. When it starts to fall, Markets V bottom every time. It happened in 1970, 1975, 1980, 1990, and these were V bottoms. So the market is going to smell inflation is done, Fed is done, and the first reaction is going to be market rallies. You said capitulation is not close, right, when you were on last. We're only 70 points below that. The VIX was 34. I mean, it's not like we, that's not capitulation, right? You know that. I mean, 70 points from September 22nd when you were last on. Now we've reached capitulation? Yes. So here's, here's capitulation. 10-year yield hitting 4%. The British pound hitting one spot, 04. MBS spreads going to 85 basis points. And retail selling big in the month of September. And so as much as I thought the low in this market for this year was going to be lower than where we closed on Friday, um, I looked at, you know, I was looking at all the different data points and I said, you know what, a lot of the, uh, a lot has been thrown at this market, ran through all the stuff that we just talked about. And the result is I don't think we go any lower this year. Um, so that's where we that's where we stand. You, you had contended that there was better competition for stocks mm -hmm. some 10 days ago, whether it was bonds or money markets, which finally offered an opportunity to investors that they hadn't for the better part of at least the last decade yes. or so. That's changed. So I think that trend is going to be here. 
where, where money is going to big picture be on the margin flowing into, uh, into money markets. And that's part of what we saw when there was selling in September. However, I think right now we have a 10% move, maybe greater, um, between now and the end of the year. And 10% um, in the S&P. In the S&P uh, 500. We went bullish this morning, so we've gotten a couple percent uh, already. Um, but I think we have that kind of move. And that kind of you know, one quarter move certainly dwarfs what you can get in money market funds. But I'm, I'm not backing away from that longer term trend, which I do think will exist, which over time, I think money will move out of equities, a portion of it, out of equities and into money market uh, funds.